Happy Wednesday, guys. Today, I'm going to build a treasure chest. Um, since we didn't make a video of another thing that we did, we're going to show you what we made. Oh, you can show them. Let me stand up. We made a clock. That, oh, that once you pull it, this yellow string that's hanging down, it opens it. I'm gonna grab you guys. Ah! Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah. So this was called Arcade. Create your own arcade claw game with pom-pom prizes. Well, she put the pom-pom on here, on her chair. Mm -hmm. And she made the claw, which is super cool. Here, go, come here, honey, they can't see you. So yes, she put all this together. Her brother helped, and then he got frustrated, so. It's okay that we didn't need that part of the video. But this was her first one. This was a free. We got this one free with a coupon. We just had to pay the shipping. And then we got our second one today. The second one is called what? Treasure Hunt. Make your own treasure chest, coins, and map. Then go looking for the treasure. It's pretty cool. It comes with like an Explore magazine. This is the five to eight kiwi crate. There are other ones for different ages. Panda for zero to two, koala two to four, Atlas six to 11, Doodle nine to 13, Tinker nine to 13, Maker 14, 204, Eureka 14 to 104. So there's different options for different ages. Um, I have bought this originally like for Sawyer's birthday. So first, this is what she's going to make. She's gonna make a treasure box. Let's do that. The, can I make the coins? They're really easy. Make the, oh, they come with embossed coins. You yeah. Do the embossed coins first. Mm -hmm. so we did. Can they see you? I think so. I'm just gonna turn so off everybody's this, comments. We set this coin on right here. Then see these numbers? We put them on this side and then Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay, you can pick any number. What are you yeah. going to pick? I'm going to pick two, four. Well, you have three coins, though. I know. Oh. Can you get it? Yes, ma'am. Are these stickers, or you just put them on there? I don't know. I don't know. I think oh, they're... I think you just put them on here. Design template. Okay, so there's a two, and you wanted a four? Yeah. And two. what else? Just a two, four. Just a two four on the same coin or on different on coins? On the same coin. Twenty four. Okay, are you gonna put a duck on one? I think no, these are ducks. No, so we put this on on this side. Then we put then we use a Q tip to flatten it down, and then we flip it onto the oh. other side. And oh, you're right. Good thing she read the directions. <laughs> I guess that's why it comes with six, huh? So you're putting the gold sticker down. And then you're going to emboss it in there with the Q-tip. Oh. Fun. Can I make one? Yeah. Any number? Yeah. Any one I choose? Yeah. So like just a number one? What if I just do a number one? You can do that. Just a one right in the middle? Okay. Or can I put a one and a duck? Uh, you have to just put one and then... Look at this one has a one and a duck, or a number and a duck. Huh. You can do anything you want. Nice. Now I'm going to put my number. Can I? Yeah, sure. Okay, what duck do you want? I'll let you pick first. This one. Okay, make sure you take the eyeballs out and all that, because otherwise it won't emboss. I don't know. I got little nails. Oh, maybe you're right. Maybe it doesn't fit. Oh, I guess you could go like that and kind of off-center it. And also, can you take out the one? Okay, so now I got a gold sticker, and I'm going to put it on here? Yeah. Okay. And then what? Use a Q-tip? Yeah, here you go. Thank you. And rub, 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 rub until we see the one. And the duck. Oh, cool. Oopsies. What? I think, well, I think I'm making like Q-tip marks. Ha, ha, ha. Make sure you get his little feet. 
What are we going to put on the back side? Mm-hmm. You can put another number. Too bad they didn't have letters. Maybe we put a ducky on this one because it's like the number one coin. Whoa. What did you do? What numbers do you want next? Hmm. Eight. Three. As in 83 yeah. or 38? 83. 83. Hi, boys. How's it outside? Good. 83. Whoa, that's cool. There you go. Isn't that pretty cool, so I say? Okay, we should get, I'm going to get the, like that one. yes, I'm going to get the pieces ready for the treasure chest. Okay. Is that okay or did you want to do that? So then they're not just watching us emboss. You can get that ready, yeah. Or how about yeah. you can get that ready? Look at this, what she's going to make. She's going to make a little treasure chest. No, you do that. I'm going to make my coin. Okay, what do we need? We need the front pieces, the side pieces, and the back pieces. Oh, you opened up the bags already? Yeah, you said The latch and the rubber rings. You said to do that, Mama. Back and bottom. You said to do that, right? I did say to do that, didn't I? So these must be the, the back and the bottom. Oh, it's just like a little one. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the front. This is where the key goes. So the front, the back, the bottom, and then these are the sides. And here's the sides. Oh, they even have ABC on them, so you can match them up. Yep. ABC, ABC. So this goes ABC. Hmm. So A Thank goes in here. Much. Here, go ahead, you do this. Okay, so let's do this. A goes into A. Okay. And what's next? This is the other, that's C. C goes into C. And what you got this one first? You got A here too. Oh no! Okay. Well, no, you got A, B, C. Sorry. Yeah. And this must be the bottom. This is B for bottom. B for bottom. D, E, F. And these must be the top. Okay. So yes, right now we're just doing the front. Come Hold on. the front piece so the Kiwi Create logo faces you. But then push the loop end of the latch through the slot from the back. Stretch the rubber. Step two, turn the piece to the kiwi crate. Step three, match tab A. As you can tell, I'm not very good at a direction. <laughs> Other way, baby girls. Other, Other way. way. I think so. I think this goes on the inside. Uh. Yep. And this goes on the bottom. So uh. see A. Uh. A. Then you match it all up. Nice. Now do you get it? It's kind of like a little puzzle. Yeah. And then put B into your bottom, and then we'll go from there. So it says stop and check after we get done to make sure A and A, they look alike. Oh, it looks good, Harper. Okay, make sure you put your bottom in. We might, we might have had to put the bottom in before C. It says C, do C last, because like our alphabet, it goes A, B, C. There you go. I was going to in the bottom and then the sides. Well, it goes in order A, B, yeah. and then here C. Go. Put C in there. Or your other ways. Other way, you shouldn't be seeing the C. Turn it around. There you go. C with C. Have you guys done a kiwi crate? So let us know what you think of it. Okay. Now we check our work. Do they match up like this? Stop and check. It should look like this. A, a by A. A, 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 B, 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 E, C, 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 C. Good. They're all good. We need those little, we need um three rubber rings out of that packaging. No, thank you, Kevin, please. Three rubber rings. A blue
Are you doing this on YouTube? No. We're, I'll transfer it from here to there. Okay. Nice. Can you get me a couple more? Yeah. These little rubber bands go in place here to keep it all together. Keep it all together. Mm -hmm. Stretch it around the little latch. Got two more. What's this? Uh oh. This little pop thing. I didn't. I didn't secure the bottom. We got this. We got this. Yeah. Okay, I gotta secure the bottom and then we can go on to the next steps. <laughs> oh, now it says put it aside while you do the lid. Here you go. You work on the lid. You find the little letters so they should all match up. Find the top piece that says D. Match one of the tabs to the D slot on the end piece and a rubber ring to keep the tab in place. Match that up and then I'll be right with you after. I gotta put this in first. Well, it's good to have adult help, right? Mm -hmm. While we're making our little treasure box. Are we supposed to put these on the other side too? Or not yet, I suppose. Cause look at this end keeps falling off. I don't know, I think. Okay, we'll look at that. You make that end. Um, you got to do one at a time, ma'am. So you got to do D. Good job matching it all up. That's great. They want you to put these rubber rings in. Uh, on the bottom? Yep, is that D? Yeah, D. D, D and D. Okay, what comes after D? E. E. Okay. Oh, we should just get all of this stuff out. Oh, it even comes with a key? Yeah. And a lock? A real lock. Oh my goodness. A real, real lock. Made out of And it came with lock. like one of these fun pens? Cool. Yeah. Okay, next is E. E. Oh. Wait. Repeat step one for the top piece that says E and F. Make sure to match the letters on the tab with the letters on the slots. Push it through. Okay, what letter comes after E? And then G. Ha! Okay, push it through, hold it there. See? Oh, that's one pink panel. No, let's go with this way. Go like that. Okay. Hey, it kind of looks like a boat. Find the other end of the piece and push it onto the tabs. Then add the rubber rings. So, yes, we must have had to add the rubber rings to the other piece. Mm, I know you can do step four by yourself. You don't even need me. This is hard. Is it hard? Do you need some help? Yeah. You want some help? Can okay, how about this then? While you're doing, or while I'm doing that, can you, um, do you know how to do these rubber rings? Maybe. Just put them on okay. just like that. Okay. So you're just gonna push this down a little bit so you see the ho humps and just do two, one, two. Okay, so we gotta match this up. So on this side it has D, E, F. So we're just going to go D, E, and F. I did it! Woohoo! Go Harper. Harper loves building stuff. She's very mechanical, aren't you? You're right, just like a little puzzle piece. Good tea. Okay, D, E, and F are together. You want to put those rubber pieces on there? One, two, three. Our little gold coins are going to fit in there. Mm -hmm. You got it? Can you do that one? Will you? I'll help you. There you go. Nice job. 
All right, what's this next step say? You need the pipe cleaner and the rope right here. What are you going to do? Okay. I'm going to go back this and then bend this side up. Okay. And bend this side up. And that is going to go in here. Push the ends of the pipe cleaner through the square hole. Use the pipe cleaner to pull the rope through until the knot is tight against. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. And then so you're going to take the pipe here? cleaner out. Okay. You're going to put the pipe cleaner through here. This one? Yes, ma'am. Both pieces of the pipe cleaner. Yep. Okay. Pull it through until the knot is tight. Okay, stop. Okay, and then unfold the pipe cleaner and slide the pipe cleaner out. Now we've built the lid. Yay! So, part C, finish your chest. You're going to need foam, green foam stickers, a stick, a lock, and keys. Got it. Okay, match up the small round holes on each side of your finished box and lid. Turn it to you if you need to see it. Okay, go. Turn it to you so you're working. Oh, okay, are they matched up? This is hard. Can you do this, Mom? Push. You're not going to break okay. it. I promise. Make sure the tab. Yeah. Are they lined up? This one is lined up. Do you got that side? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Okay. I'm almost done. Oh, awesome. Okay, they're lined up. Okay, slide the stick through both holes. Hi. Oh, it's not long enough. If you're having trouble getting the stick through, try peel the foam stickers off the back and put them over the holes to keep the stick in place. The stick is too short. Make sure the tabs and the lid are both on the outside of the box. Okay, they're both on the outside. But once we put the, the hmm, stick in cool. here, it's not, oh, it's not, it's not, um, the stick is not long enough. Maybe I'm being tricked. Because, you know, it comes, pulls out on that end. Hey, my light, there we go. Maybe it's just exact. Ooh. Okay, um, Harper, find the green foam stickers right there. And you got to put them one on each side. I think, yep, one. Peel the foam stickers off the backing and place on the outside. Okay. Now put it on the other side. Yeah. Okay, and then that's done. That's done. Step four, fill your chest up with your coins. Okay, shut the this is shut the lid of the chest, then pull the rope through the hole in the latch. Okay, you do that. You push this through here. And then then you're gonna take your key and open your lock. Okay, now put your key at the bottom of your rope. There we go. Now close it. Oh, other way. But it's okay. It's okay. It'll still unlock. Usually you want your keyhole facing out, so then when you get your key... Mommy, can you shut it? You shut it. I can shut it. You can shut it. I know you can do it. My hands are slippery. Well, move it around. Move this closer to you. Push. You could do it. I knew it. Okay, so we have our treasure box done. Harper Wait, has our treasure box do you done. Think, are no. you the same? I think those are the same. Yes, they're the same. Yes. Now you made your treasure box. So the next step is making your treasure map. So it comes with a couple maps. You can draw. Um, can I just show them, please? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You got a grid map, 
You have a purple one. Um, your gum, ma'am, please. Your green one, and then like a brown treasure type pirate one. So you can pick which one you want to do your treasure map in, and then it's gonna sh it's gonna show her like pick three or four landmarks in the room to show on your treasure map and draw it out. That's what they sent the pen for. And you're gonna mark your treasure box. It says draw with a blue star on the map. Um, you can use a ruler. It came with a ruler. It came with X marks the spot stickers enough for each of your maps, which is really cool. Uh, I think it even had showed, yes, then you're gonna give it to a friend so that they can find help find the treasure. But I was gonna say in the beginning of this, they did like a thing that said, you know, maybe it was in the other, one, other book, about making a, a compass. I thought, I thought that was pretty neat to show them like here it talks about different maps and different storytelling. Um, but I think this is really cool. I think we might just keep getting these. Oh yeah, right here, create a compass. Learn how to make a compass to help you find north, then try making your own. It talks about having an uncoated metal clip, thin foam, scissors, tape, bowl of water, and a strong magnet. And it like gives you another thing to do besides what's in your crate. There you go. What do you tell them? Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions about Kiwi Crate, like I said, I've only done two of them. I got it as a free starter thing coupon. I thought it was pretty neat. So I'm gonna let her pick her room and draw her treasure map out, and we'll talk to you later. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.